is the 21st video we will do about the lesson number 3 in grade 9 syllabus Nature and Properties of Matter. First, we discuss about the pure substances. Matter that contain only one constituent with specific properties are called pure substances. Classifying pure substances Pure substances can be classified into two called elements and compounds. Then we discuss about elements. The pure substances with specific properties which cannot be further divided by either physical or chemical method into substances with different properties are called elements. Some examples for elements are iron, sulfur, silver, chlorine, etc. Then we move to the symbols of some elements. When a single letter is used as a symbol, compulsory, it should be a capital letter. Some examples for them are carbon, sulfur, oxygen, nitrogen, potassium, etc. Then we will show you the symbols with two letters. When two letters in a symbol, the first letter should be a capital letter and second letter should be a simple letter. Some examples are chlorine, aluminium, magnesium and zinc. Then we will learn about symbols with Latin names of elements. Examples are sodium as natrium copper as cuprum, etc. After that we discuss about the building units of element from the particles that matter made from cannot be seen by naked eye are called atoms. The atom is discovered by the scientist John Dalton. After that, we should get a knowledge about molecules. The units that are made by the combination of one or more atoms of the same type or one or more atoms of different types are called as the molecules. There are two types of molecules called homo and heteroatoms. First, we discuss about homoatomic molecules. The molecules that are formed by the atoms of same type are called homoatomic molecules. Examples from homoatomic molecules are oxygen, chlorine, and hydrogen. Then we will show you the atomic structure. Atomic structure was first discovered by Ernest Rutherford. This is the nucleus of the atom. It is made up by the combination of protons and neutrons. This is the space with the electrons move. Then we would discuss about the relative charges and masses of the atoms. Now you will learn about the location of protons, neutrons and electrons. Then we will learn about the masses relative to protons, 
you can see protons and neutrons are similar but electrons get 1 over 18 volts and protons are positive 1 neutrons 0 and electrons negative Atomic number is the next topic of our lesson. It is represented by capital Z. Atomic number is equal to the number of protons and number of electrons like this graph. Then our next topic is mass number. It is represented by capital A. It is equal to the sum of the number of protons and number of neutrons, like this graph. After that, we will learn about the standard method of representing atomic number and mass number. When representing an element, it should be mass number up and atomic number down. Then we will show you about the compounds. Compounds are formed by the chemical combination of two or more elements in a fixed ratio. Examples Sodium Chloride, Copper Sulfate and Glucose. This is Sodium Chloride and this is Copper Sulfate and this is good. Then we will show you about the heteroatomic molecules. Molecules contain atoms that are different from one another. They are called heteroatomic molecules. Example, carbon dioxide molecule is made up by one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. Like this way, you can see they are, by combining hydrogen and chlorine atoms, are creating hydrogen chloride molecule. In this picture, you can see some other heteroatomic molecules also. In these pictures, you can see the molecules with different atoms. In the last picture, you can see that two hydrogen atoms are combining to make a homoatomic molecule and hydrogen and chlorine atom help to make hydrogen chloride and it is heteroatomic molecule. After that, we will show you this tape. First bar is compound. Second is chemical formula of the compound and third is elements contained. Then we will discuss about mixture. Mixtures are formed by two or more substances get mixed. This table shows you the mixtures and constitutions used to make them. Our next topic about separating constitutions in the mixture. These are the words used to separate constitutions in the mixture. Fanning. Separating sand from rice. Renewing Separating chaff from rice Sifting Separating gravel from sand Crystallization Separating sugar from cane sugar syrup Fractional distillation Separating various fuels from crude oil
there are two types of mixtures also. First, we discuss about the homogeneous mixtures. The mixtures with the uniform composition right throughout the mixture are called homogeneous mixtures. Examples are salt solution, sugar solution and sea water. You can see homogeneous mixtures examples also. Then we will discuss the heterogeneous mixtures. The mixtures in which the composition is not uniform throughout the mixture are known as heterogeneous mixtures. Examples muddy water, mortar mixture, ice cream and food salad. You can be seen in this pictures, heterogeneous mixtures, examples, ice cream, food salad, and more than You can answer these questions in the comment box. What are called as elements? What are called as compounds? What is an atom? What is a molecule? Explain about the protons, neutrons and electrons. What we do by spanning. Thank you for watching our video. Goodbye all.